cock a doodle do good morning everybody welcome back to the anger cast in stardew valley it's fall it's fall and we got lots to do oh boy this is going to be a great season but uh first of all we need to know what's going on it's going to rain all day tomorrow okay that's a good thing to know and the spirits are displeased with us today so that's a good thing to know as well and then living off the land tells us about sunflowers which we have some growing because they'll get a nice flower and some seeds as well we can already plant those seeds or sell them and we're going to use that for our um our honey our honey based operation out there we got going on there we're going to try to see if we can build another uh uh a uh, 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 thing how much of the, what are those hives growing? We have another iron bar. We could do that. We got to get further into the mines to get more iron. We need to be getting some lots of iron and stuff so we can start making some cool things for next year. We got to get ready for the spring because once winter hits, we're going to be doing a lot of clearing out, mining, and doing other things. And I want to be prepared for that. So that's where fall is going to take us. It's going to be a very, very, very lucrative season for us. And we'll explain why in a, in a, while, in a couple of days. You'll see how that's going to happen. But we can finish up a lot of our bundles. We can start really getting some trees going, and we will be ready. We will be ready. We're gonna make some. We're gonna make some mad money this uh, season. I'm telling you right now. So be prepared. But for that, let's get outside and and get looking. Look at what's going on. All right. So here's the dealio. Oh, we got lots of stuff going on here. All of our crops, except for the ancient fruit and the corn, have died because it is no longer in season. Uh... We've got several things going on here. I'm going to just go ahead and do this now. We're going to do this now. Just because I don't want to remember. I don't want to forget about them. I don't want to forget about them. Uh, we got some things we want to go do. I want to get to Pierre's first and get the seeds that we need to get our uh, crops started. And um, uh, I will come back to this for a second. We will, we will do that in a minute. And we will do that for a minute. Um, I, I don't know what... I don't remember what tree I bought. Oh my goodness. Uh, and it's not going to matter because no matter what tree I plant, it won't produce any fruit this season if it's an apricot or if it's a uh, apple or a pomegranate. So I don't know which one I got. So I'm going to just have to wait. And the, the, the trees that I will buy at some point during the next two seasons will be uh, the apricot and the cherry for spring. But let's head out to Pierre's, get that done right away. Actually, you know what? No, nah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. So, okay. Uh, might as well just get rid of this stuff here. While we're waiting. While we're waiting. Alrighty. Oh, I got... That's right. I put in a new... Uh, I put in a new thing. A new... Uh, okay. That's good. Good to know. We will take care of this stuff while we're waiting for Pierre's to open. Because we can't do anything with it. Alright. Yeah, while we're waiting for Pierre, we might as well water everything, get it all taken care of. So, yeah. I forgot, you know, you gotta, you gotta wait till he's, you know... Nine o'clock, you know, guys gonna keep a schedule. Can't be up early like everybody else. Let's also get some uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. We need to make some more fertilizer. For that, we need the sap. So let's get the sappy sap sap. Get a lot of that. Actually, let's just do that. We make it easier on ourselves. Fertilizer. We need two pieces of sap for the fertilizer. Let's do. Oh, 60 for now. Why not? Yeah, let's just do 60. Be done. I'll keep it on. I mean, just in case I'm wrong. Alrighty. And okay. And we're going to have a lot of great crops. Cranberries, man. Cranberries are spec freaking tacular. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Now, as you can see, because we did not have anything growing on those little spaces down below the sprinkler, we lost the patch of uh, patch of tilled grand uh, patch of tilled grand uh patch of tilled grand love that place it's my one of my favorite vacation spots um we're gonna have to retill the soil and we're gonna do all that right here and then we and then we'll have we'll have to water these areas because they did not um retain if the the tilled areas they did not get watered because they're no longer uh, tilled areas. And the only waters tilled areas. And, yeah, there you go. So, let's continue to get all of the... I'm going to have to make more. So, yeah, fall is a pretty, pretty uh, season in Stardew Valley. It really is. Um, we're going to do... Eh, you know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, there's no sense in it. Unless I get something interesting and cool, I will... 
Otherwise, there's no point to it. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. We can now go to Pierre's. Let's just go to Pierre's and get it done. Cause we're gonna, we, I want to get all this stuff taken care of, and then we're going to go to the mine because there's nothing really else I want to do today. Um, the first day of the season, there's usually nothing really to forge. You can tell it's, you know, there's nothing out there. There are some great things to be getting for this uh, season. Lots of things, lots of bundles we can complete this season. Uh, the fish tank, and some of the fish tank bundles, and the construction bundle, and all that stuff, and maybe even the mining bundles. So, ooh, hey, we got another, uh, what's this for here? Clint needs an earth crystal. Clint needs an earth crystal. I can do that. I have oh, plenty of them. All right, let's get in here and get some of our seeds. Hello, Pierre. How are you today? We don't need any corn. Pumpkins are good. 13 days to mature in the fall. Plant these eggplant seeds, and after five days, you get eggplant, plus they continue going. Bok choy, we'll do that one. Yams, and the cranberries are the bomb diggity, the bomb diggity. Yams and pumpkins do not regrow after 13 days. So, that being said, if we can at least, we need to get a good five pumpkins uh, for our quality crops bundle, you know, so we need to get a good amount of them. We will do 16 of them. We will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll do 8 of those. Uh, we'll do 8 of those. And 7, 8 of those. And cranberries will do... Oh, cranberries are awesome. So we want to make sure we have enough of those. Everything else, we're not going to earlier about. We have sunflower seeds growing, and we can always replace them. Uh, fairy seeds. Oh, it wasn't ancient fruit. It was a fairy, I think it was a fairy seed. Plant in fall. Takes 12 days to produce a mysterious flower. Assorted colors. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to do that one, though. No. Uh, grapes. Oh, my. Grapes. Uh, shite. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. We just... We, uh, we just exhausted everything we have. <laughs> we are, I, but that's, you know, I did that on purpose. This is going to be hard for me. This is going to be, the, this is going to be a rough season, only for the simple fact that we, um, we may not make it to the mine today. Holy crap. Uh, I'd like to get down there because I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get, uh, stuff. So let's see here. Grapes, we want to put at the top because those things are, so here, let's, uh, yeah, let's, you know what? Let's, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shit, ah, oh, damn it, all right, we'll just do that because I want to, I don't want to, I want to have that entrance I'm trying to get better with placement, why can't I see, where's, my, did I lose the, uh, placement tile indicator, I thought I, oh my goodness, that, it's a whole new game for me, it's a whole new game. <laughs> All right, uh, cranberries. Just load up this this bitch with cranberries here. Uh, this is this is, makes it so much easier for me to know what's going on. All right, uh, pumpkins. No, these are the yams. I know it really is messing with my uh, my sensibilities here, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna edit the hell out of this bitch. <laughs> Oh, we are going to be so much trouble when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the, uh, <laughs> watering. It's just going to be insane. I don't know why. I, well, I, I just needed to get this out here early on and as this stuff grows and, and then becomes, you know, uh, as no longer used, then we will, uh. Yeah, we're not getting in the mines today. <laughs> I may not make it to Clint today. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Well, that worked out. All right. Uh, okay, so now we just got to water everything. Gee, many Christmas. My goodness. All right, let's uh, let's skip ahead, cut it from here, and then I'll get you at the end. We're going to try to go to uh, see Clint at the bar, the saloon, and give him his stuff. Hopefully he's there. Um, we spent a hell of a lot of our day. Yeah, I um, mean, it's already six o'clock. We didn't get anywhere with anything. No, and he is not here. Where is he at? Is he on his way to the bar? Oh, crap. Well, if anything else, we have to get to him tomorrow on our way to the to the uh, 
to the mine or to the to fishing. We're gonna go fishing tomorrow. We're not going to the mines tomorrow. Uh, I think he might he might be. I don't know where he's at today. It's closed at 4 p.m. He should have been making his way over to the bar. Usually, I don't know what he does on Mondays. I don't know Clint's schedule on Mondays. He might be somewhere else. Um, but usually he's in the bar. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he's a hard-working man. Needs a drink after a long day of of, of smithing. So you know. But uh, he ain't here. I don't even know what his schedule is. But uh, we'll find him in the morning. Uh, I think we are going to just go back to the farm and go to bed, and possibly, you know, what we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some fishing in the morning. I think we're gonna go river fishing because that's where we can get all of the. Um, oh. Oh, that's right. They live there. <laughs> Let's see. What, what the heck? Um, we're going to go river fishing and get some of our fish for the fall and for the, or for the fish tank bundle. And all the fish all the fish that we need for the fish tank being bundle right now, we can get in fall, especially when it's raining. That'll be good. Hi, Maru. How you doing? I don't want to give you this <laughs> crystal. I wish I could, but I can't. Sorry. But I'm going to go and get a little bit of a... Uh, a uh, spa treatment done because I want to be fully, fully um, rested up for when we go tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I don't want to be messed up with that. <clears throat> but you know, it's it's fall. I'm 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 doing the the voiceover part for this now, and then we skip repeatedly throughout the the week just because I didn't get to do it this morning. But we I spent a long time, and I wanted to get it done. I didn't want to get wrapped around the axle in my brain with not being able to talk. So. But this is the deal. I mean, cranberries are really, really good. They really make a lot of great um, money on those, especially when you do um, preserves and stuff like that. Uh, once we get the keg, we can then start to make some um, – yeah, I know, Lucy. We can start to make some alcohol and some wine and some juice for the Enchanter's Bundle and uh, for Pam because she wants that pale ale. And then we can also get to um, really getting good at um, – building up our, 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 our money for buying stuff for the spring because winter is going to be like, winter is not going to be any time to rest on our laurels. I mean, it'll be cold outside. We can't really farm, but we don't want to just sit around and do absolutely, absolutely nothing because we want to make sure that we are planning for spring because once spring hits, we got to get hit the ground running because we didn't do a lot of things the first spring because we didn't know. And, you know, now we have this time. We can actually get to being prepared for this uh, upcoming year, and and once we get into to the to year two, we're really going to start hitting the ground on uh, a lot of the other things we haven't really been touching, like uh, friendship and stuff like that. And I mean, like, I'm, I'm not saying I want to find a spouse in year two, but it would not be a bad idea to start making those friends because we still have another quest out there. For uh, there he is. I I didn't know how you know. There you go. Hi, how you doing? Yep. All right, so yeah, we got a little bit of cash back after that because we don't have anything to throw in thing. I'll, actually, though, I did get two. This was a strange thing. I don't know if this was a weird occurrence. I don't know. This never happened to me before. Um, when I picked up the two preserves I had, the melon was had a blue box around it. I've never had that happen before. I don't know if that is a thing, if that was just a glitch thing. I don't know if that's because of the, the quality, but I don't need it for... The bundle, the artisan bundle, or the, um, is it the artisan? Yeah, I don't need it for the artisan bundle, so I might just, I'm going to just sell it, because there's no other sense of keeping it around right now. Uh, nobody else needs it, and I'm not going to give anybody a good, a, a good, uh, a, you know, a good jelly. I'm going to keep that for, for selling. I'll give them just a regular jelly, because unless there's something, because we got, also the other thing we got to get, we got to get planned. Oh, look at that. We got to get planned for uh, the uh, Stardew Fair, the fair, which is really going to be something we need to pay attention to because we have to bring our A game with all of our things. Nine items we have to, to bring to the, uh, to the, to the fair, uh, the Grange, you know, we get to show off our wares and we want to make sure that we give them the best stuff. And oddly enough, we have a few things that we can give them that will be somewhat, uh, not cheaty. They were gifted to us. So we got the, you know, from the bundles and whatnot. So we can uh, definitely put that in here. Let's see here. Put these two. Yeah. I, it doesn't show up anywhere else now. But it was blue around the, the, the melon one. So, okay. I know it's getting late. Yep. I know. I know. All right. At least that'll give us a little bit of a cushion. We don't have to buy anything tomorrow. We can just go fishing. We don't have to worry about our um, our watering. I do want to get my bait 
get my things taken care of. We're going to keep the stonefish, I think, for the, the Grange. And we'll, we'll get more into that when the actual Grange happens. But, you know, there are certain things that I have that have already been predetermined to be good good quality for the, uh, the, the, the Grange. And we'll talk about that when that occurs. So for now, let's go get in sleeping mode and get on with our day next morning. So there you go. Alrighty, we're sleeping. We're sleeping. And we got pretty decent. Look at that uh, melon jelly, 550. That must have been a gold star jelly, I think. Uh, that's great. That's awesome. That's super fine, fantastic. So, yeah, that, I mean, I, that's, I definitely want to keep doing that, but I, I, I don't know what's going to cost or it makes more money, melon jelly or melon wine or whatever. When I figure that out, you know, we can go from there. But there are certain things that are that are better made as preserves than they are for um, uh, in the keg. But the, the, that that's neither here nor not, they're there right now. So there we go. A thousand, a thousand, uh, a thousand. Wow, we get we did pretty good there. Uh, yeah, that's about that. So day one of fall out the door, and here comes day two. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a rainy outside. It's a dreary fall day in the rain. Oh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Today or tomorrow, I think. I don't know, because it's raining today. And it's going to be annoyed today. I We can't let that deter us from trying to go and get the, get the fishing done. we got to get that done. So let's not, uh, let's, uh, let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's get our... Let's get a good blueberry in there. And a good pepper. And see how that does. See how that goes. Look at our our, our, our sunflowers are going to grow. They're going to make our our honey beautiful. <laughs> it's just a wonderful thing. Just a wonderful thing. But uh, yeah, let's get this uh, taken care of. We can put these suckers into the bin. Alrighty. And then we go. We then we go fishing. We go fishing. We're gonna go fishing for for some good stuff. So six a.m. See, see, six a.m. Seven p.m. for the tiger trout. Noon anytime for the catfish. Twelve to two walleye and four to two for the eel at the ocean. So let's go see what we can get in in the morning. We'll go down by the by the beach. And take care of that. Has anything started to pop up yet? For yep, we got some things here. So these things will be good for our. Uh, we need to get them for the uh, fall. I actually, you know what? I don't think those are. I don't think the hazelnut is. I don't think hazelnut is part of the uh, fall crops, fall foraging. Oh, yeah, the hazelnut, it's a plum and a grapes. We need to find a plum and a grape now. We already had the mushroom because we had the mushroom cave, which was a great investment, I think, better than the fruit bats. The only thing the fruit bat would have helped me out is if it would have given me stuff for the artisan bundle. And I don't think that that was going to happen. So there was no sense in us even going that path. Your mileage may vary. You may want to do that yourself. It it's, depends on what you what you want to play at. If you're, you know, ooh, there's a Lewis. Lewis has got the blue, a grape in his yard. We can get this. We can get this. Look at that grape. Blackberry. The blackberry. We need the blackberry for the uh, for the for the bundle, not the grape. So there you go. And then we will get to fishing. We will get to fishing down here in the river. I guess the best place to do it is in front of the houses over here. I don't know, but we can do both. We can, we have time until we have to go to the beach, so we might as well. Jojo Cola. Might need that for, for eating. All right, so here we go. All righty. Wimba. And we can't... So I figured out the bait thing. Bait only makes them bite faster, which is only good if you're in a time limit for trying to get catching fish in, in, in before, like, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, it doesn't help you with the fishing at all other than it's the speed at which the fish bite. But you also need to have a better fishing pole than... Ooh, you... Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. We ain't playing that game with the sturgeon. We're getting you, my friend. We're getting you. Don't think you're going to get away from me. I'm not letting you. That's right! And we got the tiger trout! Yay! We got the tiger trout! Yay! Alrighty. Ah, uh, let's see what else we can get. Come on, we got the tiger trout. Oh, we got some algae. <laughs> but we need the catfish and the walleye will be in a couple of hours, so... But the uh, catfish would be nice. If we get the catfish and the walleye, we will then move it down to the uh, to the beach. 
Ooh. Oh, another fighter. Another fighter. Probably another tiger trout. They're not as... Uh, nope, that's a catfish. All right, we got the catfish. We got the tiger trout. We need the walleye. Walleye might be an easy one. I think I've caught a lot of walleye. I don't think they're that hard. Uh, but that gives us plenty of time before we have to go to the the beach. That's awesome. We, we got the two hardest ones, I think, out of this grouping. Although I've never had to try catching eel, so I don't know what is going to be the... The hardest one to catch yet. A uh, smallmouth bass. And an ancient sword, but we can't use it for anything. It's just for a gunther. Alrighty, well. You're not getting off the hook. Not letting you go. Not letting you go. You're not going anywhere. You're not. Ah, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him just for the simple fact that I overshot the damn hole. I don't know what the. I, you get a little bit of a like a little sparkly thing when you hit the puddle or the the bubbles, but I don't know. Jeez, you are hard, my friend. You were hard. Wow. This can be another bass. Yeah. We're a couple. Ooh. I wanna. We're a couple. We're still half an hour away from being able to catch the uh, the walleye. I got you. You ain't going anywhere. I got you. <laughs> getting getting better. If only the sturgeon was... <laughs> it was harder on the sturgeon. You got to do a control fall when you're, when you're dropping to the bottom because otherwise it's so hard to get back in there. Aha! Uh -huh. Another tiger trout. Good. I want to keep extras. I don't want to have to give them both up. I like having more than just one. Because then you can keep one around if somebody, like, say, Willie needs one. Willie needing fish is like, uh, you know, you need three of this the, the same type of fish. Now we can catch the walleye. This might be the walleye because the carp, or the, the bass, was a little bit more towards the bottom. Could be a bass. Yep, it was a bass. All right, so let's hope we can get the walleye here. We've got two hours before the, or yeah, we got four hours, almost four hours before the eel becomes the uh, the main catch of our uh, endeavors. So we have plenty of time. This is actually really good. Another bass. Ooh, maybe not. Yep, there's our walleye. All right, we will keep fishing for the walleye for the moment. Give another, get, get, try to get another walleye out of this. Might be another walleye here if it starts to shoot up real quick. Uh, no, it's bass. No, shad. I think we already got the shad. I think that's the one you can find any time, any time of year. Still, not a bad thing to have around if we don't already have one. Yeah, another bass. Yeah, we got a regular catfish in the end. We're going to keep the regular catfish. Put the... Might be another walleye here. No, it's by a shad. No, it's another walleye. All right, we'll head down to the beach. See if we can just catch a little bit of stuff before we... Uh, go whole hog on the thing. We can also do a little bit of uh, scrounging around. There wasn't anything on the beach, I don't think, yesterday. But uh, we can go find some stuff. 
All right. Anything good? Anything good? No? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, there's an oyster. Oyster. Asian oyster. And... Ooh. Good things here. Keep that stuff around. That's a good thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's try to get that... Try to get anything we catch that we don't need, we can just eat. <laughs> we'll get rid of the algae. We don't need the algae. Red Schnapper! Most likely another Snapper. No! Sea Cucumber! Oh, we will keep that around, definitely. Definitely keep the Sea Cucumber around. I think that... We don't know if we need that for anything, but we can... It might be a good thing to have. It's a Gold Star one, too, at that. So we might want to actually keep an eye on that one. Oi! I got plenty of seaweed, and I'm gonna get rid of the seaweed and the... Oh! Oh! Oh, we got a fighter! A little bit of a fighter. It might not be a... Might not be the, the the eel, but could be. Nope, the sardine. It's your sardine. Let's get rid of the algae and the seaweed. Yeah. So we know for a fact that we want to keep the other stuff out of our hot bar for right now. is different. I don't know what this might be. Anchovy, maybe? No, another sardine. Another sardine. Come on, we, we can get this. We can we can get this. Anytime it rains, we're going to come down to the beach and try to and, and, and fish just to get that eel after 4 o'clock. Nope. Anchovy! Nobody likes anchovies! <laughs> what could you be? Another side in. But what else did we get? A rock and more bait, which we don't have the ability to hold on to. So let's get rid of the rock. Let's get the bait in there. And we need to eat something. Or chuck something. So let's shite. We need everything. Damn it. Alright, let's call it a day for now. We just don't have the inventory space. We did a little bit more than I thought we were going to do. Uh, I, I, we, I mean, we only, we're only missing one fish out of that grouping that we need. We have plenty of fall left to go to the beach and fish on a rainy day. I th think there will be plenty of rainy days ahead. So let's... Yeah, let's go back. Oi... But, you know, hey, I'm I'm impressed with what we actually got done. We got three of the fish that we wanted, and that helps out our bundles. I should have brought more stuff, but I didn't have any room in my inventory. We're going to be making several trips back to the to the uh, thing, so it won't matter. So, river fish bundle. We need to have the catfish and the tiger trout, and that finishes off that bundle. Huzzah! And I think we get... Do we get crap? No, we don't get crap pots. What do we get out of that? Bait or... Let's see, what do we get out of that? We got, yeah, more bait. Eh, flipping hell. All right. <laughs> specialty fish. We do not have any specialty fish. The wood skip, I know where I can catch the wood skip at. I just don't have the uh, have the ability to do so. Okay. Um, lake fish, no. <laughs> so wait, we have the walleye. Did we already have the walleye? Was that the thing? No, 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 no. Wait a second, that can't be... It wasn't nighttime. It wasn't night... Well, oh well. <laughs> Walleye, 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. I, 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 okay, apparently that's... Uh, you know, and the eel is the other one for that. Alright, so we still need the specialty fish. We can't do anything about, except for the puffer fish right now. Uh, night fishing, yeah. 
and the lake fish, of course, the sturgeon. When when winter comes up, we will then take some time to do the uh to, the, to that to do that one. Let us go to what? Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the craft room. Put in our two items for fall forging, and that will be the blackberry and the hazelnut. Then tell up in this bitch. <laughs> we need to get a, a plum, a nice juicy plum. But for now, we're going to go back to the farm and put all of our stuff away. And then tomorrow, if it's going to be a, cool, a gusty day, we were gonna we're going to just go to the... Uh, we'll, just, we'll just go to the mines. All right, and on my way back to the farm, I took the northern pass... The, I call it the shortcut, and I happen across some plums. So we, now we can complete another bundle. This is a great week. I love fall. Fall is a great time of season, a, a great season. All right. Uh, yes. Bagunga. Bagunga? I'm calling that a word right now. I am. And now we've got fall seeds, which, I mean, you know, a big deal. The construction bundle, we can. I have the stuff for it. And that just leaves a, the winter one. I think I might hold off until winter to complete it because I can't do anything until I actually get to winter. So there's no sense in me m taking time out to deplete my resources when I may need them. So let's just, uh, can, you know, no, let's not worry about that right now. Then we'll head back to the farm. Okay, it's late. I got everything I want to get out. It's 1 a.m. We got to get to bed. Oh, I'm going to take my sword to bed. Uh, don't ever bring bait in the bed. It stinks. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, what do we get out of the, our day? Uh, you know, the, the the forging we didn't do half bad on, actually. When you think about it, because you figure we got sixteen hundred just in foraging, and that was mainly from the purple mushrooms we got. Uh, purple mushrooms did a hell of a lot of good, as did the morels. Um, our fishing, the sardines were not bad. The smallmouth bass, eh, not bad. Not bad. We can at least get a little bit just out of the crab pots alone. But twenty two hundred for um, that's pretty good. So we need, I think, uh, for that's that's great. We can go, we can go shopping next on on Thursday. So there you go. Alrighty, that's another sunny day, as the cockadoodle tells us. You know that is a rooster, you jackass. <laughs> Not a cockadoodle. Oh well. Uh, it's gonna be rain all day tomorrow, so we can go back to fishing again. Uh, and the sense, I don't, it's not, no, they're not, no. So I think we're going to hit, hit the, uh, woo, look at it. Okay. Hey, I'd like to get my cows a special treat. They're getting such good girls and hungry too. Could you bring me a bunch of amaranth? They love the stuff. I did not plant amaranth. Uh, but it does not, it, oh, I'm going to have to go plant some amaranth. Oh. But it's Wednesday, so I can't do it today. So I'm not going to really worry about it at the moment. All right, let's... Let's make sure we, we water everything. We don't want to forget we have our beehive up here getting some sunflowers. Now, from what I've read, if you don't water your crops, they don't die. They just don't grow. So as long as you continue to water them, they will grow. But the problem with that is that if you don't water them, you waste a day of growth. And you could put that um, water retaining, whatever it is, the... This, the, uh, the soil retention thing. However, you only get to choose between... You have to do everything before planting. So speed grow... Um, the, the, the speed grow, the fertilizer, and the water reten the soil retention thing. They have to be put in before you plant. However, you can only choose one at a time. I thought you could mix and match, and therefore I was like, oh, okay. But no. So yeah, you don't do that. And we are going to definitely going to start getting to the point where we cannot keep up this pace of uh, watering every day. It's going to take all of our energy and all of our time. So we need to really get down into the mines and get to uh, places. You know, we can build sprinklers and whatnot because, yeah, we were. But I don't want to really do a lot of that until I think I got some corn, man. I think I got corn. Why not in a second? No, yeah, we got corn. Yeah, corny. We got it, corny. Oh, we are corn star. Jeez, oh, that was bad. That was bad. 
That was bad. Oh my. Alrighty. We can play at one Amaranth. Oh, well, you just wasted. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to skip ahead. Go. We're going to go to Gunther. Hey, you know what? We're going to hang off on Gunther. I don't really worry about Gunther right now. Let's have more to take to Gunther than, than just this. There's no sense in me just going, wasting my time with one item for Gunther. You know what I'm saying there, folks? You know, you know, you know what I'm getting at there, Vern? Uh, we can put everything else away, though. Alrighty. We'll just throw Gunther's, the sword for Gunther in here. And then we will go and skip ahead to the mines after we hit the spa, because we're going to need to. I have a bit of a conundrum here, because Marnie wants us to give her an eggplant. Uh, I don't know exactly how much time it's going to take me to get it until after I accept the quest. You, there's no penalty for taking the quest, so I might just take it anyways. If it's a two-day quest, I don't think I can... I still don't think I can do it, because... Um, it would be the sixth day that I could actually uh, harvest the plant, not the fifth day. Uh, I don't know how this, the two-day thing works because usually after you, you know, two days, it, it's gone. Like I said, there's no, there's no penalty, so we're going to just take it just because. And it's a two-day, yeah, I don't know if it'll happen. We'll, 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 we'll see. Uh, it's possible that it, it will work. I could find one some other way. I could find one in in the garbage who knows but you know it doesn't hurt us to try but we'll, we'll know for sure <laughs> Alrighty, we are down in the 35th floor of the mines yep come on come on holy you little shit Oh my goodness. Oh, there must be the ladder. Okay. Woo. All right. Yeah, I really need some... Th there's a great thing to get called the... Uh, it's kind of a gold ring that actually shines a light around you. Which would be great, because then I wouldn't need to have uh, any torches. <laughs> oh, there must be the, the ladder. It must be right there. Oh, you bastard. Can't tell where he's at. Just gonna have to fight him this way. Swinging blindly in the dark. Why not? Oh! Snuck up on me. Oh, good. I can actually see that one. Ah, oh, come on. That wasn't fair. Oh, I got a dwarf scroll. Dwarf scroll. Scroll. Take it. You need those for something. I'm not exactly sure what, but I think I take it. You need some. All right. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Oh, goody. We can retreat if we don't find anything good. I'm always gonna take copper. Why not? See, the reason why I want to get further into the mine is because, one, it helps me with my mining proficiency, and I think that out helps get the uh, the double double ores or whatever it is, as well as the idea that I can find better things, and gives me the opportunity to have um better, uh, different ores. Like, I want to get to, the, I gotta get the iron. I gotta get to, to, you know, the next location where there's iron, because we're gonna need iron. We want to continue. There we go. Thirty-nine. 
like how I grip my teeth when I swing so like <laughs> having the fun with myself. Where's the ladder at? I need to find the ladder. Come on. Just give me the 40, if anything else. Just give me the ladder. There we are. Yay! Oh, what do we get out of that? And we got a slingshot. A slingshot. How about that? But you need to use rocks with it. Oh, we got a, a, a geo too. How about that? Okay, let's okay. Let's get oh, let's go. This is this is great because you know we are now at the level forty. That gets us into the ice areas. That gets us into more uh, things that we need, and we'll be in good shape. So there you go. All right, All right. it's late in the evening. Let's go see. We got we got wild honey. So I guess you have to actually have the uh, the uh, uh, actual sunflowers grown. And I don't think you have to take them up either. I think they can stay, you know, grown. They don't have to be, um, you don't have to, you know, I don't think they will, uh, deteriorate. But, uh, that's all for this evening. So we did, we did good. We got to the bottom. We got to, now that we got a new thing here to the bottom, reach the mine. Uh, well, you know, it's going to be a while before we get there because at least another 40 levels on that one, at least. But for now, let's go to bed. Get uh, get our sleep on. What we get? Uh, what do we get out of the? We didn't do much but foraging, um, and fishing. But uh, you know, still not too bad. Not too bad. That's pretty good. We need to go buy some amaranth in the morning. But it's gonna rain. So there you go. Whoop whoop. And it's gonna be a rainy day. Oh, Willow woke up at the same time, and I hit the the dinghy on the block. Uh, let's see here. Tomorrow it's gonna be clear and sunny all day. Well, it, I think that's tomorrow. I don't know why it says today, but it's going to be uh, mildly perturbed. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Is there anything else going on? Living off the land. What else is... Oh, it's blackberry season. Oh, this is a very, very important thing. Okay, so blackberry bushes across the country. So remember the salmon berries during spring. But blackberries are a lot more. Uh, they're worth more. So get blackberries. So we're going to spend... this. We're going we're gonna to spend the day going to get blackberries all over the map. We are then going to um, probably go fishing for a little bit at the at the end of the day because we can still get that eel from between 4 and 2 p.m. 2 so we don't have, you know, we got some time. And we don't have to really worry about, uh, we don't have to water anything, so we don't have to worry about that. We can just go change out the crab pots. That's not a big deal. Since we're going to head over towards Gunther's, we can, or uh, towards uh, Clint's, we can take uh, and, you know, get the, um, Get our geodes opened. Not a big deal. That'll be fine. We can do that. Let's put the crayfish and the snail in there. Uh, let us... Let us go... Let us go with the... Let's go reverse around... Let's go backwards around the map. Because we can go... Oh, we got an apple. That's good. We got an apple. That's good. That, that'll be good for something. Uh, that is actually good for, I think, the... Uh, is that for the artisan bundle? Yes, that is for the artisan bundle. So, uh, so we, we only need. I don't know what I planned. I really don't know what I planned. I have to actually go back and check and see what I actually planned. But that's gonna take me a while. But uh, yeah, so let's go take a look. See, and you can actually see some of the uh, area here. Nothing over by the the bus stop right at the moment. But you know, we got some more stuff here. I, you know what? I, maybe it starts tomorrow. Maybe it starts tomorrow because I'm not. I'm not seeing. There should be blackberries everywhere. There should be blackberries on every damn thing. So maybe that's just tomorrow that starts. 
Yeah, I didn't read that right. I was so excited about seeing it that I didn't actually read it. <laughs> but while we're here, we might as well stop into the, uh, stop into the, uh, thing. Yeah, th so that's, that actually, you know, I, I, that actually makes it better because I would rather be sunny out. Oh, no, we, I mean, to go looking for blackberries than to go fishing. Because we need to be, we need to be in the rain to fish, and I would rather be looking for blackberries another another day when it's sunny out. All right, let's get in here into the artisan. No, don't you dare eat that. Oh, well, I'm in the wrong room anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So there you go. Oop. All righty. There you go. Two more, which will be our spring, probably our spring trees. So all right, let's skip ahead to Clint's. All right, let's go ahead and say hi to Clint. How you doing, Clint? What's up? Process our geodes. We got three geodes, one omni geode. And that we got coal. Hey, whatever. Ooh, orp. Is that orpment? Yeah, orpment. I think we already have. We'll check out Gunther's anyways. But oh, we got more coal. Okay, well that's not such a horrible thing. We can always use more coal because we're gonna be making some things that need coal, and we're gonna be doing other stuff. So let's uh. I don't think we have anything to donate the, the Gunther. We'll just check. Oh, no, we do. I think the orp Orpiment... Oh, I'm thinking of my other game. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, we've got a reward for that. What did we get? What did we get? Collector... Oh, a singing stone. Oh, the singing stone. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Sorry. Three amigos joke there. <laughs> the singing bush. <laughs> All right. Let's go down to the beach. We'll do all the foraging, and then we will uh, do some fishing. Okay, we're at Pieter's, looking for amaranth. And that is seven days to grow, and then you harvest with a scythe. And it's the only thing they're going to plant there. So we're going we're gonna to get eight of them, just for just the sake of having it. And we will plant them when we get back. Because actually, we got time. We can't start really fishing until 4 o'clock, so we might as well go back to the, the farm. Um, I, I said something earlier, I think, about the pumpkins. I needed pumpkins for the uh, quality crops bundle. Apparently, I've uh, already completed that with the melon, the parsnips, and the corn. So, I don't have it anymore. It's not in, it's not in the, uh, I don't think, I, I think I completed it. I don't remember. <laughs> That's just, I literally, my brain has not been able to hold anything in it uh, very well. So, you know, so much for that. But let's, two, three, four... So that will grow. It will take seven days. So by next Friday, we can give Marnie uh, an amaranth for her cows. Moo, moo, bucko, roo. And we're going to leave that. We're going to go fishing because we got we got uh, two hours, less than two hours to get to the beach. And it's going to take us that long just to walk down there. So my goodness. That's our day so far. We'll go out fishing by the, uh, this, whatever this rock thing is. Hopefully we can catch an eel. An eel. It's now 4 o'clock. We have till 2 a.m. to catch the eel. we got plenty of uh, time and energy, so we're going to just go ahead and do it. And we're going to catch seaweed, because, you know, that's what we do. Uh, that's going to be a snapper, sardine, or anchovy, probably. Yep. We'll eat some of our catch. Ooh in order to heal back up. We need to. Oh, hey, Sebastian. Brooding again in the rain. Oh, Willie's gonna go fishing himself. Oh, another sardine or anchovy. Let's try someplace else, see how that works. Not exactly sure what the best place to get an eel is at. Probably look that up, I guess. Whoa! This might be what we want. Yes! We got the eel! Hot damn! And on top of that, we got a diamond! <gasps> Shine bright like a diamond. 
Never mind looking it up. I found it already. Hot damn. Let's we might as well just keep on going. I mean, what else what else we got going on here? We're gonna have, have to go to the uh thing. Give it one more. <laughs> I got, I, got, I, I want to get through other things. I got things to do. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Alright, skip ahead. <laughs> Alrighty. Woohoo! I'm excited. I've never actually completed this bundle before. So that's the night fishing bundle, correct? Oh, and it was a good eel, too, but hey, you know what? No matter. I can always catch them. I know I can catch them. No, it's possible. And for that, we get... <gasps> yes! I wanted that. I definitely wanted that. This is an awesome thing. I will show you why in a little while. So we still have... We can't get the specialty fish bundle for a while. Lake fish, at least until winter. So, you know, we're, we're, we're doing good. But let me show you this thing here. It's almost dark. I'll show you what I mean. This this thing is awesome. This changes everything for the mines, if anything else. So here you know how it's getting dark right there. Right there. Uh, let's see here. Look at that. I got a little little glowy, glowy uh, area around me. But when you're in the mines, you don't need torches. And that's a great thing. Not that I really needed the torches anyways. Uh, torches were kind of a... I, I don't understand the torch placement thing because... They don't stay where you put them. I just take them as I go because I can just use them when I need to. And I don't see the point in uh, making them. Um, if I want to put torches around the farm, big whoop, I'm not going to be working around the farm that much. Maybe they become a, a deal later, I don't know, but for, it won't matter because I I don't need them. So here we go. All right, this is awesome. Let's put some stuff away here. Uh, let's put the diamond in here for now. I don't want to lose that. And then we have... Uh, a stone. A sardine. We don't need it. It's... We got... We got... Our, oh, we got... We, we got a little plenty of those. That. How are we on the grapes? The blackberries. Can't put them in there. So, we will put that in the thing. We got... Look at this. We got hot pepper jelly and blueberry jelly. No, that must have been a glitch thing because it didn't... Uh, it didn't pop up for me there. Hmm. Interesting. Hot pepper jelly, hot pepper jelly, and blue. Was it blueberry? Hot pepper and blueberry. Hot. Wonder what. Okay, because it's fruit. Yeah, that's why. Let's put that in there. Screw it. Let's do it. That's that. Would, oh my goodness, that was so great. That that worked out perfectly. We have anything else going on here? We haven't checked a lot of these things. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to really start getting into uh, chopping down some of these trees uh, soon. We might want to upgrade our axe for that, though, because we can then open up the secret woods area. And that's where, you know, for for the next thing. Uh, I'm planning ahead, you know? I'm planning ahead a little bit. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and as far as, you know, telling you things are going to happen. They're not going to happen for a few weeks. But it's good to be aware of these things so that you can be ready for when they happen. Because we are getting there, folks. We are getting there really quick. So I think we're going to just go to bed now. It's going to be Thursday. It's going to be Friday. We are going to go to the mines. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Almost grown. Almost grown. How about that? Almost grown. Uh, let's get some bait for tomorrow. Where is my bait? There's my bait. Uh, get our watering can. We need to make sure we pay attention to when that... When the uh, thing is. So I'll have to figure that one out. So, All right. Let's just go to bed. Let's just go to bed. Sleepy, sleepy. Good night. And with that, we get from the foraging and the anything else. Well, we got cowpoke. We earned 5,000 coins. Yee doggy. And we got pretty decent there. The foraging did really well just because we picked up a bunch of shit. Uh, jellies, not too bad. And the fishing. Oh, that's sardine. Those three sardines were, you know, saved us a little bit but there. But, uh, yeah, nice. Okay, day four gone. Day five starting. Blink. <laughs> cock a doodle do. Welcome to the Friday. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Today's weather report says it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. More mining in, in store for us, which is odd because you wouldn't think we would go mining in the sun. But we don't need to go fishing right now, so there you go. Uh, the fortune teller tells us it's going to be mildly perturbed, but that don't matter. That don't matter to us. All right, uh, so we lost the Marnie quest, and we didn't have a uh, thing grown yet, so I knew that was going to happen. 
I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of talking here while we, we watch some stuff because there's some things I want to be prepared for. Now, I know that the next episode will contain the Stardew Valley Fair, which is like day 16, I believe. Uh, today is Friday the 5th, so the 6th, the 7th. Actually, maybe not. But I do, since it's the beginning of fall, I do want to take some time to talk to you about it because it's a big event and it's not hard to win or get first place. So you don't really win. You just get first place and it allows you, it just, all it does is give you, uh, you know, stuff for, for buying something at the fair, which you can get a jack-o'-lantern recipe. Uh, I know that, I think that comes later. That's for the, uh, the spirit festival, but you can get, um, I think a rare crow. There's some other things you can get. You can buy some stuff, but you know, hey, it's 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 your thing. So we're not going to we're going to start holding on to some of our better items, because what happens is with the 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 it's a, it's like a grange fair. You have a little stand set up, and you put in your own crops and stuff. Everything you've done in the game, like as far as minerals you've mined, foraging stuff you've found, and any animal stuff that you've you've made, you know, all that kind of thing. It is for that purpose, to show off what you have done. And if you get rid of all your good stuff, you will not be able to show it off. And it could hurt you. So you want to keep a, a good stuff around. Anything gold star, keep around at this point. Don't get rid of the gold star stuff. That's that's the main point, is what I'm trying to make. Like, oh, I hate when I water... I gotta get rid of that tree. I can't see what's going on. Oh, we already got some bok choy. Bok choy. Yeah. I think we're gonna just put the... Uh, we might as well use up the, the fall seeds. If anything else, it just gets us the ability to uh, grow some things that are for foraging skill. Alrighty. Alrighty. All right, all right, all right. What do we got going on here? We get everything, we got everything, we got everything good. All right, uh, boy, 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 boy. So yeah, the the main the main thing you got to be concerned with the fact is that I have say, um, you know, got I just got I got a diamond. I got a diamond from that one uh, thing I did, and that is. Uh, the, the the number one thing you can have in minerals, so you want to you know you want to make sure you keep those things that are really you know, the corn, the pumpkins, anything like that that are that are gold stars you want to keep because they're the most valuable things. It's like there's a base value times whatever it is for you know the quality of it, so you don't want to lose that on that stuff. I'm gonna move all these things here so I can put this in. So yeah, we're gonna just put you guys in here. Okay, uh, and then we're going to go uh, skip ahead to the mine. Hey there, kitty, kitty, what you doing? You getting into trouble, kitty. Don't you be knocking down my crap. I will not be happy with you. All right. Let's uh, put our snail in the uh, box there because we don't really want it right now. And we will get about our day. Now, we are going to definitely go down to uh, lo la level 40. But I want to show you real quick what uh, what it does at level 32. Oh my goodness, I did this. I was I made a mistake. I made a horrible mistake. I regret this instantly. But you can see here, look how it gets lighter as I go over there. You can see how that happens. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. That's why this ring is such a great thing. Because we're going down to 40, which is going to be like, it's going to be bright. It's going to be very bright because it's the... Uh, the ice area, but that's where all the oh look at these little bully ball things, these little fuzzy wuzzy things. Oh my good. Oh, we got a coffee bean out of that though. How about that? But my goodness, we got three iron ore out of that. I think maybe we do have that thing. I don't know. Um, I was all worried about the blue, the blackberry season like passing me by. It hasn't started yet. It's not till the eighth. It's not till next week. I got all worried for a second. I don't know why. I, I forget these things happen. I forget, because I'm already in the winter, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm in a different uh, realm from everybody. Uh, from what I've been playing. 
Yeah, we definitely want to get some more bats killed. We need to get some more bat wings. That's harder bat. Get all the iron we can. And I don't know what those glass things do. I think there's like an off chance that you might get something out of them. But I don't think that there's anything in it that's really important. <laughs> I don't know. The other game, my other game, I'm like into level 80. So I'm like into the lot. I got the lava level. And there's these like these little, I don't know what they are. They look like little shit monsters. Who the, who the hell knows? But they're like, uh, they give the void essence or whatever it is. So it's really good. Ooh, yes. Thank you. And I still do need to get back to Gus. Or not Gus. Uh, what's his name? Um, Gil. I think the, the Adventures Gil. To, uh... I gotta make sure I, I, you know... That might be where I got my insect head from. It might have been from Gil. And that means I need to get a better... At, uh... Killing stuff so I can get that. Because that thing is awesome. I have a ton of other... It's funny, I have a ton of these other um, weapons called, like, lead rods or whatever, and they suck. I mean, they might might be, like, really powerful, but they do not really... They swing so horribly slow that it's not great for fighting. Anything... I'm just getting out of here. Screw it. We're getting out of here. I don't care if the bat's coming. We're leaving. <laughs> Want to get to 45. Woohoo! Well, we will kill things. Just because. It's good for us to kill. It's good to kill! <laughs> Ooh, we got a crystal fruit! That is a, uh... That's great, because that is a foraging for, uh, the winter. That'll be a great thing to have for winter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just die already. There you go. Just, 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 will you just die? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, and, and oddly enough, it just feels like it's a lot easier once you get further down, the, down on the mines. I think because, like, you enter a new realm, but it, it resets sort of the the, the level of, of, of difficulty in a sense. Because... Personally, I, you know, hey, we hit 45. Personally, I think the, the level with the damn bugs, the, the bees or whatever, the little um, moths things that, you know, the little larvae that became stuff that was a pain in my ass more so than bats and these uh, other things are. I mean, these are just annoying, and there's a lot of them, but they don't really do a lot of damage to you. Oh, I got a dwarf scroll tool. I got, actually got all three dwarf scrolls, I think, but I haven't seen two yet. Oh, they're getting me a little bit. They're getting me a little bit. I have to eat that mushroom. Oh. Okay, let's take a little pause here. What does that mushroom do for me? It's not bad. I will take it. Oh, shit. Well, okay. I didn't want to go down just yet. Um... I think we need to not be here. Yeah, we need to get out of here. It's nine o'clock. Let's just go home. <laughs> Actually, we'll stop at the uh, we'll stop at the thing before we go, so we can get rid of that item. But uh, yeah, look, we got 15, 15 iron just from that little bit of, of, of adventuring. And look how look at the the moon knit, the gr the ring is just a wonderful thing. Oh my goodness! All right, let's uh, winter winter foraging, crystal fruit. That's a great thing. That's that's going to be probably the hardest to come by out of the th out of the four. I think you can get them just looking around for stuff, but it doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter. We, we got it already. I think I need an aqua. Do I have the aqua marine in the uh, before I go over there and, and waste the time? I already have the aqua marine there. Is there any other place that I need? Oh, I need the frozen ge. Oh, I hate to use the frozen geode on this, but it gets it out. It gets it gets it done. It gets it done. So I, I'll find plenty more. Trust me, you're gonna find plenty more frozen geodes down in the uh, down in the mines. So that 
that gives us all we have to do is wait for the Nautilus we will find in winter. So that'll take care of that. That's that's great. We got some some really good stuff there. Now, uh, the other one I want to do the is it the adventurers? No, it's in the uh, it's in the boiler room I think. But uh, I don't want to have to walk all the way over there. It takes time to do that. But if we go to the boiler room, the adventurers bundle. I almost have all the bat wings. I actually have the bat wings in the thing. So tomorrow, it's not going to rain. It's not going to be blackberry season. So we will go back to the mine again and we will bring all this stuff with us to put into the, uh, the, the bundle. That'll be awesome. So there you go. Oh, and we had a uh, thing here. Whoops. Demetrius needs a sea cucumber. Hot damn, we will take him one, but we have it. So we got two days for that, and we have the sea cucumber. I didn't even, I didn't even go this way. We went right to the mine, so that we almost missed out on that. And it's, it's like I said, it's just four for points. For gold, it might as well do it just for the just for that. We can always get. I, I have Q, sea cucumbers are not hard to catch. Let me tell you that right now, they're not hard to catch. All right, let's go to bed. In the morning, we will do more things and stuff. And it's the weekend, yay! And gotta be getting to bed. Damn it, I can never get this to work. Why does it never work? <laughs> uh we didn't do much. We didn't put much in the bin. We did. We put like <laughs> just a single tall solitary snail worth 81. Oh, well. <laughs> Day five gone. Cock a doodle doo. Welcome to Saturday. What's to tell us on the old dare channels? The deboob tube dare is going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. And the fortune teller tells us it's going to be happy today. Happy. We're going to be happy. I think we're going to go to the mine. We've got nothing else really going on. So there we go, because we got our, we got our, uh, look at that, look at that wonderful stuff we got going on there. All right, oh, I had an itch on my nose, itch on my nose, let's, uh, kick the day off. Oh, we got apples, you, you can, um, use, it's up to three days, up to three days, you can leave apples on the tree, and they will still be there. That's just a little tip for you there. Uh, yeah. Just don't know what trees I got. <laughs> oh, we got some eggplant. Yeah, the sixth day. What did I tell you? The sixth day. Mm -hmm. Did not work out for me at all. Did not work out for me at all. I don't have any place for apples. Crap, I'm going to have to make another damn chest. That's why I didn't take all the wood up for the other thing. I'm just gathering my things for the, uh, for the, uh, the fair next the next couple weeks. Just getting it ready so I don't forget about them. Alrighty, let's uh, get to watering, and then we will catch you later at the mine after we do this. And remember, we need to take a sea cucumber to Demetrius, so we got to remember to get to that. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to head in, talk to Pierre to get some more cranberries, I think, to fill in that spot. I was going to put in just the... Uh... I was just going to put in the fall seeds, but I, it, it's... It's more lucrative, trust me. It's more lucrative to have the, uh, you know, to have it. Now, is Demetrius over here right now, or is he home still cooking dinner or cooking breakfast? Usually I pass him on the way to the mine. I'm thinking maybe he might be either by the mine or by the thing. In any case, we're going to hit the uh, hit the spa, get all charged up, and go back into the mine for a while. In fact, there he is. Hey, Demetrius. There you go. How you doing? I brought you the item. Yes, I did. What do I owe you? You owe me a shit ton of money. No, actually, 225 gold, but that's uh, pretty good. So there you go. Took care of that. All right, let's see if we can get down to 50. Get down to 50. Oh, we need to uh, organize our shit here. <laughs> uh, crap, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Not to be switching to the... Oh, my, look at all you little shits. Run away, you little bastards. Oh, you little bastard, you. Eh. I do need the jellies. I'm 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 fighting the jellies because I do need them. For that bundle. I don't have enough jelly. So that'll give me anything else. That'll give me that. 
Oh, you little shit. Come here. There you go. Oh my god, the popples. Look at the popples. Uh oh, they're gonna try to surround me, you little shits. I don't think so. Oh, another crystal fruit. Hmm. All right. 46. No. What do you think you're doing? No. No. All right, we got to find out. We got to make a hole. I guess you could make ladders to avoid this, but I don't see that there's really a need to do that. You can, like, just make your own ladder down, but I really don't think that it's worth the uh, using up those things. I think you don't get them back, either. I don't know that they stay there. I, I just... I think the randomization of, of items on the level mean that they don't stick around. I just... I just don't think they do. Yeah! Ooh, winter root! <gasps> We've got now another thing for the winter foraging bundle. How about that? That's just going to save us some time. That's 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 great. I mean, that's awesome. Oh, where that Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Listen, it's, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, that one, I'm not gonna worry about that one. There's <laughs> just no sense in trying to be, I, I have something I want to do, I, you know. Look at this, this music. Oh my goodness. It's great music, man. I love the soundtrack to this game. There's so much great little chill music happening. I didn't find it, so I have to make our own. I have to find one here. Come on, we're almost there. I want to get down there. Get down to 50. Because I think that's another... There's another fishing... I don't know if it's 50 or 60. I forget. There we are. Oh, that was a quick change on that one. I almost didn't make that one. I almost didn't make that happen. Yeah, that's it. Come on. You can just... You try. It's not going to happen, but you can try. I do want to pick up the last few things on this level because those, those, there could be some great stuff in those uh, in the, all these boxes here. Yep, jade, jade. That's good. Any other? Well, yeah, we want to get the uh, the other iron. But we at least get to 50 and we can go home. Alrighty. Good job. And we got plenty of room in our inventory. What did we get? Tundra boots. Tundra boots do what? They are plus two defense, plus one immunity. They keep your ankles warm. I have plus one, plus one. So let's switch them out. Aye. Come on. That'll help me out a little bit. There you go. Alright. And then let's get the hell home. I think we're gonna hit the uh we're gonna hit the uh on the way, drop off that uh the that thing there. What is it? Winter root. 
good day. I mean, I'm telling you, fall is the damn the best season so far. It's pretty. There's lots of good music. There's lots of more, you know, there's more things to be doing. There, there's more variety of stuff happening. You, you get into the most lucrative part of the, you know, the, the, uh, the game. And it really sets you up for like, you know, the fall of, you know, or not the fall, no pun intended. The, you know, the fact that nothing happens during the winter and that's when you do most of your planning. All right. My goodness. We are just kicking ass on these bundles again. An 18, 18, uh, iron ore to boot. So we'll be, we'll have, we will, what is the, uh, what's the thing here? What's, what's this, the, the bridge repair? That's the bridge over by the, uh, Jojo Mart. The one I want to get is the, the mine carts. When the mine carts get repaired, that is the, um, that is the next, that's why I'm trying to get down because here, look at this thing. Look at, look, look at what this is here. I don't know why I'm doing it that way, but okay. So here we go. Boiler room. The blacksmith's bundle, I need to get enough gold. Now I could actually buy gold from Clint to complete that just to be on the safe side because I have everything else. Uh, that would take care of that. And then the adventurer's bundle bundle is... And, and, and what is the... Uh, what, what did I say the repair thing was? I think that's the mine carts. Yeah, the mine carts. That would... That saves so much time traveling because you go right inside the mine. You go right inside the mine. From from the bus stop, or you can go right to uh, Gun or Clint's from the from you know the Clint's, the the mine and the uh, bus stop are all the three places you can go. And I mean that's just really a great time saver, especially when we get into the part of the game where we are spending so much time on other things like watering and planting and other things. You know we're we're trying to be very efficient with our time, and that, you know that's how you do it. So there you go. All right, we got to hurry to bed. We got to th what do we get here? We're just wild honey. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, ooh. Want to get to the bed? No. No. Just throw all that shit in there. Oh my goodness, we gotta get in bed. I don't want to throw those away just yet. All right, get in bed. Oh! No, don't eat the apple, jackass. Sleep. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> we didn't have. I wanted to throw some stuff into the bundle be or into the bin because we didn't have anything else going on, and we're not gonna get much out of it. But I figured I'd get something out of it. Um, that. Uh, yeah. So I mean, you know, we got something. Not much, but I wanted to get... I had to get something out of that. Uh, and I didn't want to fall asleep. <laughs> cock a doodle doo It is Sunday, the last day of the week. We've got... On the weather report, it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. It's going to be... Neutral, and it's going to be teaching us how to make tortillas. Okay, I don't have a kitchen. I can't do that. Don't know how to make that stuff just yet. Just can't. Oh, look, we got our uh, got our sunflowers. Now we are gonna pick everything, but the one that's next to it. Uh, and I screwed that up. But we got. Look how many seeds we got. We got six seeds out of that. So we can still grow more. We got. We 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 got enough to make everything back off of it. I want to keep the one so that I can see if we get some sunflower honey. Sunflower honey. Yeah. Alrighty. And I have no idea where the hell I'm going to put these sunflowers. <laughs> For now. But, you know, it won't matter. So, it's the last day of the week. I think, unless I find anything else to happening, and that's, that's based on what's on the board in town... I think I'm going to just go back to the mine because I, like I said, I don't have any other items of business right now other than getting things ready for winter. And I need to get some more levels in the mine so I can get to, uh, you know, the, 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 the further down to get to the gold, to where the gold's at, because I've got that foraging uh, thing where I... When I pick up two, you know, when I pick up two, or I, I, I dig up one, I might get two. That's, you know, a good thing. We, we definitely like that, uh, that feature. Because that just, that, we can make, we can make, uh, sprinklers. And then we don't have to do all this. And I think what I'm going to do is have it laid out as just being eight blocks of individual stuff. 
and it'll always be taken care of. I won't have to worry about it. Ugh. And if I do have to water something, it'll just be, you know, oh, we got more corn. Holy crap, dude. I gotta chop down some of these trees. I can't see what's here. Barely. So there you go. We'll skip ahead from here. Okay, this is one of those ones where I'm torn because copper ore is not going to be in our best interest as far as getting further down in the mine because we have to go up to the higher levels. However, it's 260 gold, which, you know, is always good for us. So I'm thinking I might take it and then split my time between the next two days of going further in the mine and going up higher in the mine just to get the copper. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to take it because it'll give us two days to do it. And we can see him. We, and he doesn't have, we don't have to find him in a store. We can find him at the saloon. So there you go. All right. All right, I think we're going to head down to five because we can get more the copper here. I'm not getting anything out of this. It just sucks. There we are. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Definitely what I wanted. How many do we need for him? 25, right? Well, we're already up to 10. All right. Well, we have enough. We have 16. I can get the rest of them tomorrow. We can get off starting maybe a little bit earlier. So leave the mine. Let's go down just a little bit. I don't, you know, I'm not going to get, but it, if anything else, I get, I get good stuff. Crap, dude, there's a ghost. What the hell? Oh, and I'm just kind of screwed here. Uh, turn around, jackass. Oh, my God. They're going to get, get my ass. They are hurting me. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, this is impossible. Not without a good damn thing. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, what are you doing? I definitely need a better weapon because of those ghosts. Those, that's not going to be... It's going to be a pain in my butt. It's just... It's, I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the weapon for it, man. But look what I got out of it. Gold ore and a solar essence. That's pretty good, though. More coffee. I get five of them. I can grow coffee bean or a coffee thing. I just don't know what season that is. All right, we uh, we are not getting any further down tonight. So, okay, well, we got, we did pretty good, though. We did pretty good. We got 16 of the ore. I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take my chance on that. I'm going to just go. And, you know, that's what it is. All righty. Well, that's all for it. Uh, we we got to get to bed. Uh, so that's it for the first week of fall. I hope you enjoyed all of it. Yes, the kid, it looked like the bear, the, the stuffed animal was snoozing. Like, oh, Chucky, he's going to get me. Uh, but, uh, we got some stuff to do. We still got to get some more copper ore for Clint. However, next week starts berry, blackberry season. So we are going to be splitting our time between getting those copper ore because we took on that stupid <laughs> quest. But, uh, you know, for, for, uh, for Clint and we will, uh, we will continue to do that and blackberry gathering and everything else. So, uh, hey, you know, that's it for the uh, the evening. So there you go. And, you know, we didn't do much foraging and put stuff in the bin because we did other things, but we'll get a little bit out of it. Uh, oh, well, winter root, no, only 70. The common mushrooms, you know, those do, do good nicely. Uh, but that's about it. So, hey, that's all for the evening, uh, for this week of, of Stardew Valley. Please, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and share me share me your tips and everything in the uh, the comments. And we will see you next time. 
Have a good night. Bye-bye.